Good morrow, fellows. Today, I possess a Beyblade Burst review for you, which I think is B113 Bloody Longinus 13 Jolt. I unboxed this thing almost a year ago, I think, and I'm finally getting around to do like the formal review of it, but uh, that just goes to show how behind I am with these things. So, I think by this point, most everything is known about it though, so let's just, uh, that's kind of why I take so long between these, so we can actually find out, is this part actually good, what does it do, what can it beat, what can't it beat, stuff like that. Um, but, uh, I guess, let's start off with the, the layer, which is Bloody Longinus. Um, it's kind of like a weird raised shape, kind of like Lost Longinus was. If you look at the sides, it's kind of like sloping downward. It has the, uh, the four contact points. <clears throat> I don't think its KOing power is as good as Nightmare Longinus was, relatively. Um, I found NL to be a much better KO attacker. And BL is kind of like the Valkyrie of the Longinus series, where it's kind of like a mix between Burst and KO Attack. <clears throat> and I almost think it works better stationary than it does on a um, Extreme Dash or another KO Driver. I, my personal favorite combo to use this on is uh, Bloody Longinus 5 Glaive Weight. Uh, my weight has a super tight spring, 5 also helps with the burst resistance, and also my 5 balances really well with my BL. Um, Glaive is just for left spin, some kind of life after death. Um, if I, I'd, 5 is the disc I use in deck. I guess if I found, if I took the time to find a 0 that balanced well with it, 0 would be better, or maybe even double 0, because uh, those are more weight, so they'd give you more RPM. And maybe like, I mean, weight is a good driver for that. Also, like, the more popular variant of that combo is Bloody Longinus 7 Under Orbit, which I think K was the first person to use, and then JoJo used it a few times, and then, um, 1, 2, 3, 4 Beyblade used, like, a variation of that. But I think it was, like, 0 Under or something else. I don't remember the exact... It was... BL Orbit or BL Weight. Uh, this combo is pretty good at bursting Hell Salamander Bearing, and it'll occasionally burst things like Hell Salamander Atomic or outspin them even. Just because uh, Bloody Longinus actually has some smash attack, I think, just because of the way these contact points are shaped, it's able to use a high RPM to push opponents into the ground downwards because it's got the weird raised shape. And this will allow it to sometime to destabilize the Hasbro uh, switch strike layers like Belkesh or Left Spin, Spryze and Requiem. Because it's not going to burst them, they're way too burst resistant for even something like the best Left Spin burst attack around the game to burst them. But uh, it's still able to outspin them by destabilizing them on bearing. <clears throat> And it'll occasionally do this to Hill Salamander as well, but bursting the Takeratomi bearing is a lot more common. Um, also, like another reason I don't really like it on Extreme Dash as much, or in another KO attack driver, is because it always feels super weird to sliding shoot. Like I asked this to Shin Dog a while back, or just a, a com bunch of competitive players, and they all said. Um, Shindog mentioned that like it feels he kind of gets caught on the launcher and I feel like I agree with that I feel like I can never get the angle right when I'm trying to sliding shoot this or I never get like the full power launch at the correct angle that I really want like I can with pretty much every other attack layer occasionally um but yeah it just feels off when I try to sliding shoot it this happens for all of my bloody longinus on all the I think the left spin string launchers I've tried, I may have not tried like the dual threat, but that may have been because my dual threat broke before I got BL, but 
that's beside the point. Uh, either way, a lot of people, and even then, I've been saying a lot of good things about this layer, but um, some people have not gotten it to work for them as well. I know TSO thinks that uh, Geist Fafnir actually performs better against Tel Salamander than BL does, so <clears throat> you've got BL and GF as your two like left spin attack options nowadays. Um, but I think like despite what people think of it and its shortcomings, it's the best left spin attack layer we have, unless Chosy Spriggan is somehow better for attack. Uh, and I think it's definitely worth picking up either in the um, the Chosy customized set or in this booster that it comes in. Uh, the disc is 13, which is the heaviest of the light core discs for Chosy. I think it's somewhere between... It's like about 20 grams, I think, like, the official weight's 20.04 or something. I don't even know if it's, or it might just be 20.4, I forget what they go down to uh, two decimal places for the official weights. But either way, um, like, even though it's supposedly that heavy, it feels, like, light and fake and... I don't know, super hollowed out. It feels like a fake disc to me. Um, and it's not really that great. It's fine on things like Eternal, just because, like, oh, it has this weird um, raised shape that just means it's not going to scrape if it doesn't have a, a frame on it. But for that reason, for that, um, I can't think. For that purpose of using a disc on Eternal, 7 or outer or 10 is better than 13 is just because they've got more raw stamina and better opposite spin performance as well because they do have a smooth surface where 13 has this rough jagged thing that's supposed to look, that's actually supposed to look the, the underside of a uh, nightmare longinus so a little throwback to that um it kind of looks like it would break things in left spin kind of like 12 breaks things in right spin but that's I don't think people have ever really found that to be the case. 13 is just a disc that sees no use because it's overall pretty bad. And yeah, kind of disappointing from the, the highest number disc in the game. And then uh, Jolt. This is the most crisp attack driver in all of Beyblade Burst. Uh, it's got these cool little rubber vein type things on it, which don't really do anything, but they look cool. Um, and it's basically uh, LRF from MFB, which is like R2F, but with the points facing left, or a rubber spiral. And I don't know if I just mentioned this or not, I forget already, but Jolt is also a short driver, kind of like Yard or Eternal. I actually didn't even notice until someone like mentioned it to me. And I tested it for myself. It's not something I noticed, like, just normally. But, uh, I'm not really sure how that would affect, um, the, perform the performance of certain attackers. Like, it would definitely reduce the amount of smash attack something like Bloody Longinus has. Uh, I feel like Winning Valkyrie and Dead Hades both hit mostly horizontally, so they wouldn't affect them too much. Um, for a while, I found it to be a little bit better than Extreme, just because, like, my Jolt had a tighter spring than my Extreme at the time, um, and I found it to be a little faster, too. I was liking, uh, using, like, Winning Valkyrie, 8 Vortex, Jolt, but either way, uh, it's outclassed by Extreme Dash, just because Extreme Dash has the softer, uh, MSUV rubber, and the the tighter spring as well, which makes it much better for KO attack than Jolt was. You basically have like no self first risk. You have a more controllable sliding shoot, faster movement, better recoil control. It's just extreme dash is the KO attack driver to use. 
no matter what, pretty much. And as crisp as Jolt is, it really can't even hold a candle to that. So uh, overall, I wouldn't recommend picking up the Bloody Longinus booster. I know it's the only way to get Jolt as far as I'm aware. I don't think it's ever been released anywhere else, aside from Bloody Longinus. But uh, the layer itself has been re-released in the Chosey Customized Set, which also comes with a bunch of other useful parts like uh, Zero, Wall, Cross, Crash Ragnarok, Chosey Spriggan, Dagger, I forget what else it comes with that's useful, I think that might be it. But uh, yeah, unless you really want Jolt, I'd recommend investing the money in getting a bunch of good parts with the Chosey Customized Set instead of buying Bloody Longinus. But yeah, overall, I think next up is Health Salamander. Did they really release, release two left spin big boys in a row? Uh, I'll need to double check the order, but I think Health Salamander's next. So I will see you guys then. That didn't work.